What's up guys, Blitz here today bringing you a video that a lot of people have been requesting. We've been talking a lot about mods in Final Fantasy VII Remake. For those that don't know, Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2 Intergrade is on PC. And in order to mod it, well, in order to actually play it, you need to check out this video. I always fucking forget. This video over here. I made a video about mods already that you actually need to install if you want to run this game very well because i'm not gonna lie out the box fresh it does not run that great it truly doesn't but do yourself a favor check out this video install those and then come back here and do yourself you know some justice first of all when you go into here looking at it from this perspective when you install remake it's going to be inside of your my computer this pc folder it's not called my computer anymore it's called this pc computer whatever it is but you're going to locate it inside of wherever you installed it for me i installed it in a separate games folder uh final fantasy 7 remake integrate this is installed straight up from epic games and then you can go into the end file right here sorry end folder then content and packs p-a-k-s click inside of here this folder is not going to be here uh squiggly line mods actually it's called tilde right this is a tilde uh you can create it honestly right now if you want but there are some mods that come with it but i recommend just creating it so go here click new uh type it in squiggly line mods and you're good to go great so inside of here this is just the best and easiest way to keep track of all your mods that you do this is our these are all what i have currently installed ignore this one I have all of these installed as of right now. Okay, so how do you install mods to this game? Now you wanna know, eh? We're gonna go to a website called Final Fantasy VII Nexus Mods Remake. You click on this right here on Google, it'll bring you up to this page here. Click on mods or click on the home page. It'll bring you up to what they have over here. <laughs> Bro, I saw somebody mess. I saw somebody mention this. this is so fucking disrespectful. How dare you do this to her? <laughs> what the fuck you did to my girl, man? Damn. Oh shit. Oh, this is a sick. This is inspired by Demon Slayer. Damn. This is fire right here. My. God, exotic dress with like some really cool recolors. All right, we're gonna install that one and I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, they got the Kine, Kine dress mod. Less obnoxious grunting in cutscenes. You know, the Square Enix special. The <laughs> that, that, that thing right there. I mean, Square Enix usually uh, jam packs their games filled with it. There's a lot of cool mods on here. I have the NSFW filter turned off, but you know turn that off at your own risk because you're gonna, you're gonna see some stuff like tifa's revealing silver dress which i'm not gonna click on but yeah but we're gonna install this one just to showcase to you guys how to do it so in I, you guys need to first of all read all of these because they really really give you a lot of details on how to install this stuff unfortunately this one doesn't son of a bitch maybe hooters waitress tifa will have it which it does right here so when you download it basically all you got to do is unzip the pack and place it in that folder squiggly line tilde mods inside of there you'll be good to go but uh and also like this these are the required mods i guess for this specific one they give you the links for this stuff which is pretty cool but that's essentially how you install majority of these mods there are some mods by the way that'll require you to install them in the win 64 folder it's the same concept you just have to read this and make sure that you understand exactly where you're installing it it's not that hard really so we're gonna go inside of the files real quick the manual download is what i normally do but the mod manager is available so i mean try it out at your own risk it might work out great for you guys but for me i know where to install these things so i'm just going to keep it with what i've always been doing so you click slow download because nobody's going to pay for a membership on nexus mods let it count down and it should start downloading on the bottom left uh depending on if you have a membership or not it might download fast it might download really slow even if you have fiber internet like i do it's downloading pretty slow right now for that standard but it is what it is so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna click on it 
I have WinRAR, but you can really use any win zipping tool to be honest it's no big deal so for all the different dresses right if you go back to the main thing like if, you, if you're doing a specific mod file or whatever that uh has different colors it can tell you you can see and click on which one whichever one it is you want which one do you guys want me to install which color this one looks sick what is this black and blue so we go back inside of here red i'm gonna take this and then you're gonna extract it right so now we're gonna go to where we have our squiggly line tilde mods folder which is inside of your games folder wherever you installed it inside the remake folder go to end content packs mods right there you're gonna install it right there and now since i have multiple mods installed for tifa this is actually what i am going to do i'm going to remove the uh tifa outfit ones because it does mess with it if you do that so i have the tifa black air forces fit there uh what else i got i got the I, I think i could leave white hair tifa mod in there and what else i think that's all i have for tifa's outfits outside of the red kimono which is what we're trying to put on her right now tifa's abs gang 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 I'm gonna cut it out i'm gonna be a degenerate and paste it on my desktop because i don't give no fucks refresh the game and there you go all you had to do is move it literally to this folder this little pack file so now that we've done that the game should be ready let's boot it up and check out this mod that we just installed now don't be alarmed guys i'm playing final fantasy 7 remake part 2 don't be alarmed by any crazy mods you might see let's go to a, tifa, a chapter where we see tifa a lot which is this one and there you go the mod is installed damn that looks nice Got the metal, the <laughs> the metal band Aerith installed. Yo, this outfit looks sick on Tifa, man. My God. And Barrett, Barrett got his drip on. Barrett with the dipset drip. I love Aerith with red hair, bro. This is this looks really nice. Oh, there you go. That's the shot right there. And they must think you can lead them to it. Can you? <sighs> but you can only have one outfit mod active at the time at maybe. one time, really. Like you just have to like remove it from the file yeah. and install the new one in there, like what I did before by cutting it out. Maybe. Basically, I am going to save the game. All right, let's check out what's another mod we should do. Got Tifa skirtless. Oh, Tifa with the plaid recolors. My God, these are awesome. What the hell? For those that don't know, I love plaid. Oh my God, these are fucking sick. Holy shit, bro. Oh man. Yo, that one is fire. What is that like Burberry? Burberry. Oh, look, Tifa and Aerith are matching. This is the Pantera, I think, outfit. Oh, blue looks cool too, man. Honestly, yo, the white and pink. This looks nice, man. I, I like this look a lot. I actually might install this on Tifa next. Uh, we're gonna go with the pink plaid. Download it like I showed you guys before. Slow download. It takes like five seconds. You can't bypass this unless you, like I said, get a membership, but we ain't trying to do all that. Extract to, go to the game folder. You go to end content packs mods and we got to do the same thing where we go inside of that same place that we just installed to and remove the uh, kimono mods that we just installed on tifa because like i said it's gonna clash they're not gonna they're just not gonna work all right uh, uh wutai dress we gotta remove that the wutai dress and tifa red kimono i copied them out i didn't i didn't cut them out of there so yeah you can either delete them or cut them out of there that's what you need to do. I realized dragging from it, it just copied it to the uh, base over there. So now we should be good because we have white hair Tifa installed and the pink plaid recolor. So we're good to go now. So make sure that you make sure that you're either deleting them or removing them completely from the folder, or else it'll do exactly that. It'll clash and it just won't work. The Zach model is going to get better with time too. It, they recently updated it to make the face look a little bit more cleaner. There is an actual Zach model that they can use, I think. 
Oh my god. Bro. What in the Amy Joe Johnson is this? This looks amazing, dude. I want this outfit. I also have sexy Shiva mod as well. I'm gonna do a zoom in on that for you guys. Yo, it changed her underpants to white as well. Yo, this mod is advanced. This is just too cool, man. Yo, Shiva versus Lady Dimitrescu? Yeah, okay. <laughs> and yes, so like with the uh, eye mods that we were talking about earlier, eye and hair mods, you can do things like if you hold shift and control, you're able to switch. I see you on the bottom left. I don't know if you guys can see that on the bottom left. This is active character Barrett, active character Aerith, Red 13, Yuffie. But you could do Tifa right here. Now I'm on Tifa. If you hold, if while holding down shift to control, you press E, it'll change your eye colors. So whatever it is that you might have, oops, sorry, installed. Give it the good old showering gun and the ones I like. And if you do shift control H, you can change your hair color. These are all the different hair colors for the Teefster. Oh, it works for Red 13 too. So same thing, right? So you're gonna hold shift control, press uh, C to switch characters. Switch until it says Red 13 on the bottom left. And if you, while holding shift and control, you press H. Change the color of Red 13's hair. To be honest, none of these look cool to me. I just, I would, I just keep it on default. You do eyes too. You can give Red like some fucking cool looking eyes right there. Same ones that like Tifa had or Sharon gun, shotting gun. Pink eyes. One of the most important thing I forgot to show you guys is that subscribe button because only 16.9% of you guys that are watching these videos and streams are currently subscribed. Guys, hit that subscribe button. Join the channel. It's completely free. Help support us. We got lots of Final Fantasy 7 content. I'm over here dropping non-stop videos to help you guys enjoy the game more and play it and break it and do all these great things. Top Secrets Guide is coming out just now and also many more mod showcase videos which i can't wait to actually start making now that we got this one out of the way again subscribe notification bell don't miss out on all the fun that we're having here on this channel no but really the most important thing i wanted to showcase to you guys is if you click on a mod and you're running into any problems if the readme doesn't have any tips to help you out you can always check the mods description tabs right here for posts if you click on posts people here will post videos also but they also will give you tips on things like uh if there's any issues you got this issue what should i do same here don't know what that is do you also not have short hair like you that happened to us but there are glitches people come across and here we go there's some fixes right here it has to do with your engine i and i file you need to input this oh look at this the lod bias minus four or less in the console to prevent pop-ins of the original mesh and add this or less in your engine ini okay so basically the same thing that we had showcased before that's how you can fix if you get this error or if the hair mod doesn't work for you but like i said always check these posts if you're running into any issues or even beforehand so you can fix issues prior to uh running into them okay degenerates the part that you all have been waiting for has finally arrived i recorded the other footage yesterday but today this mod came out and it's been a long requested one by a lot of people yeah you already know what i'm talking about right you already know what i'm talking about man i'm talking about that thick thick ifa thick fa lockhart <laughs> it is actually here guys and it's a 3dm mod meaning it's not going to be installed the same exact way that you installed the other ones previously but don't worry it's very easy I promise you with this mod there's actually two versions to it uh there was the there's the over the top mod hold on let me see if i can load the pictures in okay right here so this is a standard this is what tifa looks like in her mature dress the first mod the version 1.0 which has been updated since this was originally posted this morning uh is this one it's over the top <laughs> it's over the top i know i know it's it's ridiculous but they updated it and now it's a little bit more proportionate and in my opinion better designed and uh you can also use it with her default outfit which means if you have custom skins that pertain to this or the mature dress sorry refined dress it will uh work not this one though the 1.1 there's two different versions if you do want this version you do have to download well 
you do have to install the version 1.0 version which is right here uh, it's this one the older files here but this one is the one that we're going to be installing today so you do it the same exact way you click manual download download and see it tells you that you need the 3dm mod but it also says that you need the purple dress mod but you don't necessarily need that if you are trying to uh just use the regular outfit like this one if you if you are trying to mod it with this dress you need to obviously search in the you know search the purple first purple dress right here for tifa it is this one right here you download it put it in the mods file just like we've been doing the entire video very easy but the thickfa mod right here if you want the tifa like regular outfit default outfit or to have it customized like if you have different color swaps for it you would highlight right here these four thickfa shoulders skin shirt skirt sorry and top so you highlight these you're gonna extract them you're gonna extract them to the same remake folder but we're gonna make a little stop right here instead of going into content which we normally would for the other mods we're gonna go into binaries right you're gonna go into binaries win 64 mods right is where you want to install them uh, if you look inside of here i already have them installed just like this the folders for 3dm mods you have to install the folders that's also a pro tip right there but you're going to install it here in where it says mods and you can see i have other stuff installed here as well but that if you have a 3dm mod like hair mods and eye mods and stuff that's going to be interchangeable right on the fly you could press a button on your keyboard and change the colors change the style and all that stuff that's where you want to install them from the folder mods install the entire folder and hit okay and you're good to go well it shouldn't take that long 3dm this mod is very important you're going to use this one a lot 3d megoto base mod you're going to download this it actually has another update today wow it shows you really quick here how to install you unzip these inside the binaries win 64 folder that's what creates the mods and all that stuff i'm actually going to update it right now just to show you guys so right here see base mod right here you're gonna go into this well actually let's read the readme first there's always some things in here just in case this base mod or another version of it is necessary to use any other 3d migoto base mods you have to run remake and direct x 11 mode for this direct x 12 sorry it just won't work with it so direct x 11 is king for now okay same deal you install it in the win 64 directory and then in any mods based on it you install inside of the mods side so right here Extract all of that. I'm gonna go to games, remake, and binaries, Win64, and right here, the base. You're gonna install that right there. It's gonna say, hey, these files already exist. You can click yes to all because they're basically uh, combining them all together. So now that we got that installed, you filthy animals, we can see how it looks in game. <laughs> and there you have it, guys. Thickfa, Thickifa. Thick Tifa, oh my god. I also have the short hair mod on her as well. So quick little key tips here. F1, you press F1 when you have 3DM installed and it shows you a little key map here on the top left of how to do certain things, toggle specific stuff and whatnot. The readme for each specific mod will tell you how to access like the eyes and the hair and all that stuff. But uh, F3 turns all of 3DM's mods off. So I mean, if you look right here, it's a quick way to turn it off. She's thick. And now she's not just like that oh god <laughs> so f3 to turn it off see it takes off the hair so first things first if you have the eye mods installed while holding control and shift and you press e it'll change her eye colors see now she has the sharingan she has the rinnegan which is normally what i like uh my presets are messed up so red eyes shows up as uh rinnegan it's it's weird so i gotta fix that some someday if you hold down T, right? If you hold down T and press, e press 1, you can change Tifa's hairstyle. So you can go back to long hair. You can go to the, uh, the, the, the first short hair they came up with. But there's another short hair they came up with. This one right here. It adds a little bit more of a curve to the hair. It adds a little bit more style, to be honest. I like this. I like this version a lot. I really do. I think it looks really awesome. And this outfit is awesome, too. This is the pink plaid outfit for tifa there's lots of other recolors and swaps not just for tifa but for other characters too that you could definitely check out and uh yeah that is how you install the thick ifa mod 
Now, if you do want the other one, which is the obviously crazy Lady Dimmer. Dimitrescu version of Tifa, the 1.0 version. You can still download that, but you have to use that with the purple dress because it won't work with her default outfit. They reskinned and fixed it. It looks like they updated this app three times today, which is pretty interesting. So, oh man, she's so badass. Oh shit. And again, this is short hair Tifa. I mean, we can switch that up to long hair Tifa on the fly. God damn, everything on her is curvy. Holy shit. But yes, it is here. Thickfa. It's all going to go down from here, guys. I'm sorry. We, we've peaked right now with mods on Final Fantasy VII Remake. Jesus Christ, Tifa. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so sick. Just like that, okay? I got you. What a beast. That wraps it up for this video, guys. Thank you all again for tuning in and uh, have fun with these mods, man. Yo, write down, uh, comment below which mods are your favorite, which ones are you using, and also which ones are you excited to see. I did showcase a little bit the Zach mod today, but overall, I want to know what do you guys like. There's also music mods; those are really cool. They they change the music of certain points of the game. Really cool stuff that some of these modders are able to do outside of fixing up this game more than Square Enix ever did for us. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new. More Final Fantasy VII Remake videos are coming your way and you won't want to miss them. My name is Blitz and thanks for watching. Yeah, enjoy, you bastards.